Hi, I'm James, one of Casa Creations Engineers. Today I'm going to be taking you through the update and calibration process for our new 5.0 firmware for the Quad Pack 25 and Quad Pack 35. We've rewritten this from the ground up and added a bunch of features that are very good for multi rotor vehicles. So, I've already downloaded the newest Castle Link. You can download that from our website, castlecreations.com. I've plugged in my controller through the receiver wire, and now I'm going to go to the software tab and click update to 5.0. Now it's warning me that it is going to reset all of the settings on the device. This is because we've written, written this completely and taken out a bunch of settings that don't really apply to multi-rotors. If you're using a, this on a vehicle that is not a multi-rotor aircraft, we don't recommend it. You will be able to update back if you do update forward, but it's going to default your settings. So once the update's complete, I'm going to take you through the calibration process for the ESC. Uh, we've added a very easy calibration process that lets you set the endpoints as well as the motor rotation. Um, some other features is we have one shot 125. Uh, we've added an adaptive timing system that gives you more efficiency during flight. So now that I've updated this controller, I'm going to plug it back into my flight controller. And I'm going to connect to my flight controller through its app. Right now I'm using beta flight, um, but the process is pretty similar for other flight controllers as well. Uh, most flight controllers give you the out option to output to all four motors. So I plug into the flight controller first, and I'm going to connect to it. And I'm going to go to the motors tab, and I'm going to configure it to output full throttle. So now I plug in the flight pack uh, and the ESC is beeped to plug in the flight pack and the ESC is beeped to recognize full throttle. So now I can bring, bring the throttle back down to idle. And that signifies that they've recognized the idle. Now at this point I could I could cycle the power. Um, but I also want to set the motor rotation. So it's already saved those endpoints, but now I want to set the motor rotation. I didn't worry about how I wired up this quadcopter. I just did what was most convenient. So to set the rotation, all I need to do is spin the motors in the direction I want them to spin during flight. The first two beeps tells you that it's recognizing the rotation and then you spin it again in the same direction and it confirms the setting. And now I've written the motor direction to all four of my ESCs here. I'm going to cycle the power and then verify that that direction is correct. So now I'm ready to fly. Uh, when you first turn your vehicles, it's recommended that you set the gains a little bit lower. We've upped the response rate significantly on this firmware, um, and you should be careful the first time you tune it. Um, for more information on the quad packs, you can go to castlecreations.com. Please enjoy the new firmware and let us know what you think. Safe flying.